Hello everybody, this is Matt with Remove-Malware.com and tonight I'm going to take a look at Hitman Pro 3.5. This little application uses four uh, antivirus vendors to uh, scan your PC uh, for infected files. Um, this is a cloud-based scanner. It'll actually take uh, suspicious files on your PC and upload them to their cloud for scanning and uh, it'll kind of you know tell you if they're if they're an infectious file. Uh, it's extremely fast. It only looks at a handful of EXEs and DLLs, startup files, files running in memory. You can uh, right-click a folder and scan with Hitman. It will do that. Um, so far, from what I've seen, it's been really really effective. Um, and that's I've used it on three pe people's PCs so far. Yeah, the only downer with it that I can really see is that I didn't really see a quarantine uh, function, but um, I'll take a look at that again. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick demo. It won't take long because this is there's really not much to this application. It's just a it's a malware killer. I mean, it, it, I, I'm not using it for prevention. I personally have just used it to uh, get basically four opinions at once. Um, and that's awesome because a lot of times I, I in a couple of videos I've talked about uploading files to virus total uh, virus total is a site where you can upload a file and um, have it scanned by every single antivirus vendor out there and it'll you know tell you if this file is infected so let's go ahead and move on right away to the demo this is a, an infected virtual machine I have here and um, this is typical from what I see lately. It's a machine that's not completely uh, immobilized. You know, the, they can still use the box, but um, you know, you have this fake security tool thing. Uh, if they try to look up anything on the internet, they being, you know, one of my clients, um, they usually cannot find what they're looking for. So. Let's try. I'll only try to give you a few examples. If they're on Google, well, they can't even get to Google because it gives this, you know, internet insecure internet activity, which is a fake little thing. Yes, yeah, basically, it wants them to buy some uh, stupid protection, some fake protection to steal our identity. Uh, if they do a search for free online games and we tried to go to free online games .com. we get redirected to some other website where somebody's gonna you know collect uh, some kind of commission info.com so info.com has got some kind of some kind of deal going on here where you can refer their search engine you can see uh, that's the the ID of the um, you know here's the affiliate ID so whoever this affiliate is right here is using malware to um, to redirect uh, browser internet uh, users to this site basically and so he can collect a commission so anyway that's that's what you see right there then you're seeing all kinds of pop-ups coming in from the side and really they just they don't have the power to do anything. Their internet is basically useless. So at this point, what we're going to do is just launch a Hitman Pro 3.5. I'm on 3.5.2. That's what I downloaded. I think 3.5.3 is out, but this is what I have right now. And it's ready to go at this point. It's already scanning. It's going to go ahead and do its little update but you can see this is what it scans with gdata nod32 antivir prevex a squared it's five engines i think i said four well i was wrong it detects and cleans rootkits trojans bots viruses worms spyware adware infections things like that you can run it off a usb stick you can run it off a dvd it is just a killer man what it does it kills malware and it's compatible with Windows 7 
So right away, all we got to do is click uh, Next. You can go into Settings, but there's not much there. Um, the only one I have is Show Scan with Hitman Pro on Folders and Windows Explorer. So you can do a right-click scan if you turn that on. And we click Next. Agree to the license agreement. They offer free unlimited scanning. Um, that's on-demand scanning. Uh, and then they have a uh, a paid membership um, that I think um, you can use to block malware in real time. I haven't looked at it just because I've been using the free stuff, honestly. I've done lots of tests in the virtual environment and then I tried it out on three people's PCs. My three customers, they were their PCs kind of resembled this. Um, they were running 64-bit OSs, so I didn't really have to deal with any rootkits. Just a lot of um, just a lot of spyware and pop-ups, things like that. So you can see right away um, how many things it's found already. It's probably uh, scanning a lot of things in memory, and then it's scanning System 32 because that's where almost all the malware goes whenever you get infected with anything jumps right into System 32 where it can be executed easily. And you can see how fast Hitman Pro 3.5 is. It's really unbelievable. Uh, and this is what it's found. So it'll tell you what it is, give you the file name. Um, you can see it's detected by Avira G data. You can see what engine detected it. I mean, anything you really want to know is right there. And, um, yeah, it has a delete or a do not delete. And then you can report this file as safe if, if it's a false positive. This really doesn't concern me um, that much because what I'll typically do is if a, I'll ask a client if they have anything really important, any really important data that they need. And um, I'll back that up first. As long as there's not a worm attached to the system, I usually don't have to worry about a thing. I can pretty much delete anything I want and then um, repair the file system later if, if need be. So so all I have to do is now, right now is click Next. It's going to say, um, how do you want to activate it? I'm just going to say, use a free license. I'm just going to go ahead and activate my free license at this point. The product is successfully activated. Click Next. And it's going to terminate uh, Explore and then start to remove all this junk. Now, I, I'm guessing you would have a decent amount of traces left in your registry because I don't know if this really scans a registry that deep, but um, who really cares? I just want to get the files gone, toasted, you know. So it's got to delete a few things on reboot. You can see that. It, can, it tells you what it did delete. Um, and then that's it. It's pretty much ready to go. If I click next, it says malicious software was partially removed. Reboot to complete it. I'll go ahead and reboot. It promptly shuts down Windows. And I would pause all this junk, but um, it's kind of hard for me to access the pause button when I'm in full screen mode in VMware, so you can just fast forward through this junk. Since I have this uh, infected virtual machine now, oh, Real quick, uh, Hitman Pro is starting up in like a pre-start mode, 
like a pre-boot mode and it's deleting things it could not delete while the system was running kind of like a, uh, a vast very cool but yeah like I was saying since I have this infected PC I thought I'd test out a couple of apps um, against it and see how they do with removal I'm going to check out um, Microsoft Security Essentials next and see how it does with removing this uh, malware on this PC And if I can remember my password, no. Okay. So I'm looking, hopefully I'll have my desktop back. No more pop-ups. So there's my desktop, cool. Um, no more pop-ups, no more web website redirections, things like that. And of course, you know, once I did remove the malware, I would um, just install Microsoft Security Essentials for the client and collect my payment and jet. That would be it. So let's open up Internet Explorer. Since Google's the typically the most hijacked search engine, we'll just go there and uh, do our first uh, query we did a while back which was online free online games I want to go to freeonlinegames.com and I can actually go there really good sign and uh, let's go ahead and search for free antivirus and then we'll try to go to like Facebook free antivirus I go to free.avg.com. I'm able to get there, no problem. Let's load up Facebook. Yep, can get there just fine. So at this point, um, I can just go over to Microsoft.com slash security underscore essentials I'm able to get there fine I'll download my uh, antivirus which is another cloud-based scanner Whew, look at that internet connection tonight it's smoking So anyway, <laughs> Hitman uh, Pro is good for guys like me who visit a lot of people who are infected and um, want to scan quickly, want to scan with a lot of things quickly, remove quickly, and just get on and go. Um, and Hitman Pro does that. It's it's so far I've only tested it you know three times this week, but every time it's been perfect. So. Um, it, it just, you know, if it doesn't remove everything, which I haven't seen it yet, it's pretty much removed everything I've thrown at it. That's typically what happens when you scan with five engines, you know, it finds everything and removes it. Um, you know, I can run malware bytes or super anti spyware and pick up little bits and bits of traces and things like that. Um, so I'll go ahead and let this finish updating. So some of you might be curious to see if it detects something in memory right now in RAM. So right now it's updating my local database for Microsoft Security Essentials. But in my closing statements about Hitman Pro, it's fan it's a fantastic application. So if you do kind of what I do, 
and or you have somebody who's infected you know throw this against it and see how it works for you because for me it's just fantastic you know scanning with five engines it's amazing so that's where I stand on Hitman Pro anyway my next review my it's not even a review it's just a test mainly for myself and I'll bring you guys on just to watch I just want to see how Microsoft Security Essentials does against this uh, infected PC and uh, I'll go ahead and do that next I may actually do it tonight because that won't take long So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this, and um, we'll see if anything. Let's see if MSE finds anything left over. I'll be right back. So just in case you're uh, curious here, uh, Microsoft Security Essentials found nothing. Uh, so Hitman did a great job on whacking all that uh, malware that was loaded on this system. So anyway. Um, that's it for me for now. I'm going to go ahead and upload this video. Um, Hitman Pro is awesome. Check it out, you know, if you uh, have trouble with malware on a system already. So, I will talk to you guys later.